Hey you guys, this is the 411 Diva. I'm coming at you with a very, very quick meal option or snack option, like that kind of in-between meal, if you will. Well, today I want to show you how I'm going to make my pecan oil infused air fried french fries. Yes, I did say pecan infused. I want to show you this oil right here. Jermaine got this oil from one of our um, vendor friends. His name is Raymond. And he and his wife they gave us this pecan oil here and it is so delicious we've had it on steaks and i said you know if it tastes that good on steaks why don't i put it on my potatoes because i love french fries and i am really trying not to you know eat a lot of fried food so i said well why don't i use my air fry so i tried it last night and it was absolutely delicious so i'm going to show you how to make this delicious and flavorful snack in the air fry. And I know some of you do not use potatoes. Some of you do not want to do any starches like that, but you can use this oil on anything. You can use it on cauliflower, broccoli. The sky is the limit. I love it because they have a high smoke point. You can also use it in the frying pan if you wanted to fry something, but I'm not gonna be frying anything. I'm gonna put it in my air fryer. Also today, we're gonna have another conversation about our metal missile. Um, I feel a little bloated today. If you can see my hands are very swollen and it's probably because I haven't had one of those good foods that I told you guys about. So I'm going to mix up some of this in a minute. This is from the Dollar General. This is my fiber therapy, but it's the same as metal music. So stick around with me and you will see all the great things that I have to offer. Okay, I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. All right, you guys, I am back. I want to show you what I have here. Here are my fries. I just took a potato a baking potato and I sliced it into pretty thick slices like this because I don't want it too thin I want some kind of bite to it and I'm going to use some of the pecan oil as I said before so I'm putting some of that on top not too much because a little bit goes a long way and it has a nice woody flavor to it and I'm going to use some of this that I bought from Sam's and Jermaine bought it as well it is the buttery steakhouse so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that on top of here now, it looks like a lot, but when you mix it all together, it's going to be delicious. Now, this already has salt in it. If I feel like I need salt at the end, I will salt it when it is done. But I think this is going to be good. This has a nice buttery flavor to it. It is great. I put it in my meatloaf. So I put it on top of just about anything that I eat because I love the flavor of butter. And I also like the flavor of the spices that's within it. So I'm put a little bit more just to make it look nice and festive. Now the air fryer we're using today is this one right here. Uh, once again, one of my friends, we did a swap. She did not like the racks. I love the racks very easily. This is my pretty plate that I like to put my rack on. Bowl, I should say. And I'm just gonna layer these on here. You don't want them touching each other as much as possible. You want them to get a nice even cook on them. Now, I have, if you already hear this noise, I've already preheated my air fryer, so it is already ready to go. And it has been preheating for over five minutes. All right. Now, some people like to take their racks. If you want a nice sear on your rack, they'll take their rack and they will put it in an air fryer and let it get hot as well. But I don't think I need to do that today for this. Now, I don't like my french fries very, I don't like them cooked all the way back sorry about that my camera went out but this is my fries on a rack I'm gonna go ahead and open up my air fryer and as you can see we put a piece of foil at the bottom of our air fryer just so any grease for easy cleanup and I'm just gonna put her in like that close the door it's gonna restart itself and I'll be back when it is finished in about 17 minutes 3 30 17 minutes all right, we are coming to a close on this. We have less than a minute left. I want to show you what I'm going to add to this. I have some cheese here that I bought. Some um, fancy, fancy cheese. It's um, roasted garlic with some New York cheddar cheese. And I just cut it into little blocks here, or cubes. And I spray pan, sprayed a pan, a little baking pan that I bought from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to put inside of my air fryer when I'm finished. 
with the fries. I'm gonna layer the fries on there, put the cheese, and I'm gonna melt the cheese, and then I'm going to put some a little bit of barbecue sauce and sour cream. So it is finished now. So now we're going to take it out of the air fryer. Okay. Now I do have these little pinchers that I can just grab this. I'm gonna take this out. And from there, I'm going to take, look at the beautiful crust on there. This is so delicious. Again, I like my fries almost raw. So you might wanna put them for a little longer. So I'm gonna take these off of here and just throw them in there. Oh yeah, that's a good rawness that I like. The flavor is there. Again, if I want to add any salt to it, I would do that at the end, but I think it's gonna be fine. I need to taste one of these. Let me leave one of these out. So it's gonna kind of be layered like a nacho. Now this is shareable. This is just one potato, as you can see how much it is producing here. All right. Now I'm not a big cheese fan, but I like cheese on here. Let me go ahead and sample one of these. Mm-hmm, that's good. We're gonna put the cheese on top like this. Let's give it a real good flavor. The pecan oil you can taste in there, very good. I'm gonna spread this out a little bit so everybody can have some fun here. So I'm gonna take my rack with the rest of my french fry. Delicious. All right. So I'll put the rack back in. And then I'm going to take this. All right. So here's the finished product. I have, you can see the cheese has melted. Once again, that was a garlic roasted cheese. I'm going to put some Texas peat on here. Just a little bit to give it a little spice, not too much. I really like Tabasco or either Louisiana, but today I just feel like I want to taste a little bit of that Texas peat. Okay, just a little bit on there, just a sprinkle. All right, and then I'm going to put some of our barbecue sauce, which is called our love sauce. This is what Jermaine makes for the our food truck. Just a little bit. And then... I'm going to finish it off with some, look how delicious that is while I'm opening up the sour cream. See so that cheese melted perfect. All oh, this is in the air fryer, people. If you do not have an air fryer, get one. All right, I'm just gonna put some sour cream on here. And that's it. This is my lunch for today. I'm gonna eat that with some fruit, maybe some yogurt, and I'll be done. All right, thank you all for watching. This is Danielle, the 411 Diva. Like my page, subscribe to my channel. I should say like this video and share it with your friends. Bye now.